I've said this long time ago, even before the Cosmic Ghost Rider issue started coming out, I've always thought the way the Punisher's character is, I thought it would be a good idea if he became an actual Ghost Rider to pass off vengeance and stuff like that because of his whole punishment thing and he actually murks people and he's not actually really a superhero at all really and he just gets crap done, you know what I mean? Cosmic Ghost Rider is an alternate version of freaking the Punisher that actually did become a Ghost Rider. That's pretty intriguing when you think about it because I had this theory way before the thing came out. But before I go any farther, I absolutely, absolutely have to give a quick shout out to those that have donated to the channel. It really helps out a lot, believe it or not. Frank Castle is normally known as the criminal killing Punisher, but he's not that in every world. This Frank Castle is a former Herald of Gladness, whose exposure to the power of Cosmic has given him incredible capabilities. He appears in comics like Thanos Wins. In this universe, during the Heroes of the Earth's last stand against Thanos, Thanos Wins, the Punisher was hit in the head by the debris of a building the Hulk has thrown into and died. His soul literally got sent to hell, willing to give anything in order to punish Thanos for slaughtering his planet. The Punisher signed a deal with the top tier being known as Mephisto, and became the latest Ghost Rider. When he returned to Earth, however, Thanos was already gone and everything on the planet was dead. This Ghost Rider spent countless years alone, roaming endlessly and undying with no one to kill or love. This would be very awful. Then he ended up meeting a badly injured Galactus, seeking help against Thanos, unaware that the population of the Earth had already been killed. The Ghost Rider offered the dead planet to him in exchange for the chance of punishing the Titan as his hero. Galactus accepted. Together they roamed the cosmos on a quest to halt Thanos' annihilation. Then they became legends lasted centuries. The Ghost Rider used the time stone to drag a younger Thanos to the future. Long story short, he got this younger Thanos. The Fallen One used Mjolnir to smash the Rider to bits. The time displaced Thanos realized his older self's motivations and went to prevent this future from ever happening. So basically younger Thanos started disagreeing with older Thanos weird right frank castle actually met odin he was rewarded to valhalla but he didn't fit in with the rest of his inhabitants seeing that frank didn't want to be there odin returned his powers to him and offered to send him to any time and place he wanted thanks a lot odin frank chose to get sent back in time to the day thanos was born so he could kill him before he grew up to become a monster this dude frank actually met baby thanos used the penance stare on baby thanos Frank realized he wasn't evil yet and decided to take him under his wing instead as to change his future. Yeah, he literally took him under his wing. The Cosmic Ghost Rider run isn't even that long, so I would suggest you probably could read all of this yourself. I would say do so. Yeah, he literally took Thanos, baby Thanos, under his wing. Let's get into the feet, shall we? Oh boy. If you're anything like me. By the way, for those who do not know, I have made a video previously about the base form of Punisher to get an idea of how, he st how strong he is in canon and his base form. So you might actually would enjoy that video. You know what I mean? So please check that out to add on top of this video. And I do have a video about the normal Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze piggyback on top of this video. I would also like to mention that a lot of the characters you're going to see mentioned in this are pretty much alternate reality versions because this version of Punisher, aka Ghost Rider, is from an alternate universe. Just to give you a heads up, right? He's not just a carbon copy of Ghost Rider that we know and love. He's quite different. First of all, his look it looks different, and he has these chains. They are basically forged from the bones of Sidorak, one of his equipment. They was able to uh, hold Thanos in this occasion. Isn't that pretty freaking sick? I pause. Time and wrap you in the chains forged from the bones of Sidorak. He was using the stone. He's used these on more than one occasion, like using these chains like a grappling hook through space and time. That's pretty cool. See that for yourself. Like, hey, grab hold. He literally did like some time travel stuff, traveling across millions of years with time stone with this epic bike. Don't lie, that's epic. Let's get on more of his equipment. Like, Punisher has to have guns, so he has guns, these Hellfire blasting type guns. So he was in a lot of Thanos-related stuff. That's why you see Thanos a lot. He even has a Ghost Rider motorcycle modified by the Power Cosmic. It states here, become a Herald of Galactus. And so, Frank Castle made his second deal with the devil in as many lifetimes to become. Ghost Rider, Herald of Galactus. Having a bike has like this little energy in front of it and fire the back. See how it's fiery right here? But it's like bluish in the front here. You know, just epicness, right? I know I'm going over his gear right now, fighting this amped up Silver Surfer in this occasion. Has like his own little fiery board. One can call it the Cosmic Hellfire Surfboard, you know. He has the famous Penance Stare, which is basically a hex. It's not even a display of raw power. It just basically makes you feel on all the bad you've done. But in this occasion, he didn't necessarily do that great against Thanos because he gets off to it. Yeah, Thanos is crazy. This should not apply to everybody because some people are just crazy enough to enjoy the agony they build upon people. Here, the Ghost Rider's penance there is said to be the great demonic equalizer. For no matter how large the sin or how powerful the sinner, to stare into gaze of the rider is to know absolute sorrow and despair. It delivers back upon those who fall under its thrall every moment of torture and pain his victim has unleashed upon the innocent. 
For many, the writer's penance is the last thing they ever see. For so powerful is the regret, freaking insanity. Just like any classic ghostwriter like in my Zerozo's Johnny Blaze ghostwriter video, he has hellfire. Fire that's kind of hexy, not just your ordinary fire. I would honestly like to see ghostwriters he be get put to the test against Iceman. Don't judge me. Has that happened before? Somebody in the comments let me know if that's happened before. Epicness. Like, look at that big explosion. The Nihilus Hordes. Get out of my way. Physiology is crazy. But yeah, I know it gets a little bit confusing. There was He was a herald of Thanos, and he actually like took a different Thanos under his wing. Yeah, it gets a little confusing. Like One, he took under his wing, and one time he served under Thanos. You know, this crazy Thanos insanity. It stated here, Some time in hell, a few hundred years as herald of Gladys, and a couple million more hanging out with you is enough to make a fella pretty hilariously insane. And by the way, separating his head from his body will not kill him. And this same Thanos that's super powered up in the future for some freaking weird reason. King Thanos. I got a video about King Thanos, by the way. He killed Galactus, right? But even after killing Galactus, he said he wouldn't be able to kill him. Because Ghost Rider is like literally one of the hardest things to kill. Like you see what he did at Galactus right there, right? But for some reason, he said, I cannot kill you. You cannot defeat me. You know, it's weird. <laughs> On top of this, he claims to be unkillable because he's virtually already dead. He said, I'm about as dead as it gets. Even though he claims to be unkillable, this amped up Silver Surfer in their fight was kind of able to kill him with Mjolnir. Kind of crazy and contradictory. Thanos wins. All that crap did have some weird writing. I'm not going to lie, y'all. It states here, hey there, name's Frank. Most folks call me the writer these days. Well, these days I'm dead, but you get it. I mean, I've died a whole bunch, but this last time stuck <laughs> even he is like wait a minute this is the first time i actually died for real even though i usually can't die you know what i mean when he took thanos under his wing like you know he just manhandled him a couple times in this occasion blasting him off the thing but i do believe this thanos and the one in king thanos are totally two different parallels you know what i mean actually brought this thanos to his knees making him big without context it looks like he's just beating up like the normal 616 thanos like you know what i'm saying he's not but it's still ridiculous any version of thanos is still pretty strong takes him under his wing that type of thing letting you know i'm the boss of you right now hellfire blast energy projection how you look at it any way you look at it he was able to destroy like an army of hero in this case like look yo like yo but in their defense this is an alternate reality version of the canon hero so the writers got freedom to pretty much make their pile of any level they want so it's kind of impossible to scale him off of this it looks like dr strange is here cable cyclops got his head ripped off here you see hulk over here you see better bill over here you know the writers just give you freedom to do what you want here still pretty freaking strong like you know this thanos melts his face off with his level of blast power penance there on deck. This Thanos thought it was going to be a penance stare. He says, your penance stare does not work on me like it does the others. Unlike you, Thanos is not burdened with regret. He said, never said anything about a stare, boy. I said penance. Give an idea of his blast power. Could he do this to the real 616 cannon Thanos? Uh, I don't think it would be this easy. But yeah, he's pretty strong still. This time he was in Valhalla though. He was in Valhalla here. Cool occasion. Not going to lie, I just showed you this. Him meeting Odin. That cool stuff. It's no surprise that a Ghost Rider should be way past planet level. So, you know, just to give you some lore on that, do you have any idea how much I hold back to not destroy the world as I walk? He can literally destroy the world as he walks. He has to hold back his power. This shouldn't be really a surprise considering that Zerozo's other type of Ghost Riders in my Johnny Blaze video is like a Skyfather tier in Zerozo's form that challenges Mephisto. So that's just no surprise, really. Ghost Rider always specializes in raw blast power, either Hellfire or just blunt force blast power, energy projection style. A physical match with groups is where they're not like really using energy energy projection you can kind of see it here a little fun stuff like reacting to baby thanos get off me remember i showed this earlier surprise thanos blast off the cliff all these future versions of the heroes this is kind of a silly feat pretty quick we can be able to outrun all okay let me stop this being i'm being silly i gotta love this cosmic bike though don't lie the hellfire mixed with the blue energy don't judge me he was able to speed through the chitauri faster than they can really do much back like literally runs through an army of chitauri bye bye chitauri i'm cosmic ghost rider He's fast, but it's implied that he can't catch up the super duper fast folk like Nova. He implied here, are you kidding me? That's Richard Ryder, man. No one can catch up to him, not even me. Well, obviously not nobody can, but like he means like a lot of people can't catch up to him. But he doesn't think he's fast enough to catch up to Nova. Well, he's a massively fast and light being, so that makes sense though. He can take a lot of beating though. Like he got smashed to the wall by Moondragon this occasion. He got blasted by Cable before. Insane durability like always. Taking blasts from Galactus. Pretty freaking cool. I mean, there's been a lot of powerhouses that survive hits from Galactus, but man, it just shows your durability. Notice how Ghost Rider took a cosmic blast and doesn't really seem to flinch. He even took a blast from a severed head from a celestial. Freaking crazy when you think of it that way. Galactus actually was probing his mind. He was able to endure this insanity. He can take a lot mentally, physically, just overall, you know what I mean? 
He's gotten hit from iron fist attacks before. Stay conscious. Oh, by the way, same old stuff. Soldier, dead family, war on terror, died, went to hell, spirit of vengeance, madness, devourer. Yeah, this is the best way to summarize all these events. Cosmic power, Thanos, death, death again. <laughs> Just perfect, right? That was the best way to summarize all this that has happened with his life. Although it is true that Marvel never really alludes to it, he technically has went through all the events of the canon Punisher of the actual real universe. This is an alternate reality Punisher, of course, right? He technically should have fighting skills. And if you watch my other Punisher video that I talked about in the beginning of this video, you might want to get a look on that, how he is just in his base form, like in the 616 canon, no powers, no cosmic power, no deal with Mephisto or nothing like that, right? For Pete's sake in his base, he can literally KO a bull, kill four men without looking at them. Got enough skills to accurately guess where Spider-Man is going to dodge. His fighting skills are so insane and being able to accurately perceive his opponents much faster than him by using deductive reasoning. Not to mention he knows a whole bunch of different type of fighting arts. Disarming combat, knife combat, all the good stuff. All of this should apply to Cosmic Ghost Rider. Not that he needs all this stuff because when you're that freaking strong with all that blast power and hellfire, why would you need all this? Well, it would help against people that are stronger than you. And when you're that strong, skill can't actually make a difference. If this guy is able to dodge Spider-Man just from the sound of him swinging. Telling me that is an intuition. You can read these panels for yourself. But yeah, he's just proficient in a lot of different fighting art. Marvel humans ain't no joke. Cosmic Ghost Rider should have these same skills because he has went through the same events of 616 Punisher. He probably went through these, even these exact same fights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He knows ninjutsu, Shori and Ryu, standard military training, right? You're probably thinking to yourself, what is this guy's power level? He's really all over the place when it comes to raw power. Ghost Riders in general, I would say, just should be in the Herculean levels when it comes to blast power. The battle feats, I would say, are the best way to go about it. I mean, because he's just ridiculously powerful. It's implied that he has some form of self-resurrection, like being able to go to hell and back. You know what I'm saying? Can just pop back up right tell me that isn't cool he literally died or it returns to his natural form in this specific occasion resurrection you dig it physical strength was on par with thor and him you know what i mean even the new hulked out she hulk way above her sensational days you know what i'm saying i think this is pretty a uh, good representation of where the writers want him at he's they still want him to be a powerhouse his physical strength is not what he specializes in but he still has a lot of it right well he was able to do this to a ship deconstruct it and reconstruct it you know telekinesis he can absorb the souls of others to regain power and heal. This is probably one of his best showings of strength when it comes to battle feats. Cosmic Ghost Rider li literally fights the Avengers. This is the best way I would say he would rank. I know I keep showing this panel, don't judge me. Or Thor and She-Hulk, like, you know, this buffed out She-Hulk, she's comparable to Savage. She's like kind of replacing Hulk because of the multiple Hulk stuff that's going on. Fights them off here. You get the idea. Look at the cover. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, number 24. You see like, all the Avengers and he's just fighting them. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? He blitzes them here, blasts them there. There. she hope comes here she goes to work on him here blast her yeah it's like a little it's kind of extended head is gone still fights with no head punches seem to affect she hope with his raw punching power right summons his head right back over here hits her with his own head you see what i'm saying it's kind of a fight you got captain marvel you know she's a star level being as well captain marvel video you need to watch that she blasts him he like clashes her beams with his she even straight up stated this enough photon blasts to melt a hole in a star you know it's just common knowledge at this point she's star level you know what i mean she's fighting like multiple powers he fought the, the buffed out she hulk thor i wouldn't even call it a scuffle it's like a semi-war i wouldn't say it's a super duper war but a semi-war and here he's built a gun from the armor in stark's room cosmic ghost rider even more lore for you it states here he's strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the strongest Avengers. Captain America and Black Panther were, were amped or amplified their power strength increased by celestial energy fueling with the circuits I designed in our suits. Black Panther State. Your punt now has the power of Avengers Mountain itself. Like, Ghost Rider is fighting the strongest Avengers and two Avengers that is powered by celestial energy. Captain America and Black Panther punching them. It's literally extended. Like, She-Hulk over here, he's fighting them on the bike with the whips, the chains, Captain Marvel, Captain America, Black Panther amp. That much power is at his disposal. He even laughs him off and says, Ha, you think a few sparks of power from my dead celestial will stop me? I've blown those guys' brains out too. Brains the size of moons. Moon busting confirmed. Let <laughs> me stop. Then the fight ends up ending. But he was hanging in there for quite a bit. Blade ends up being clutch having this like super special gun. He's fought the entire Avengers who are black hole level. Uh, yeah, that's pretty freaking impressive. So I would say that's where he ranks. He's pretty freaking strong, I would say. Doesn't have the most feats, but I do say his feats he has are pretty concrete. And it matches up to the other Ghost Riders like 
Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, for example. Not even counting Johnny Blaze, but his battle feats are pretty freaking concrete too. Being able to fight the likes of Thor, the new and improved Hulked out She-Hulk that was literally recently fought Immortal Hulk. Like, yeah, Ghost Rider fought this same one. Like, this Cosmic Ghost Rider is pretty freaking strong. This She-Hulk is like another level from her sensational days, aka my favorite days. Not to mention Captain Marvel, another star level being Cosmic Ghost Rider fought in this video as well. She's right here, of course. And she literally stated in the same comment that her Photon Blast can blast a hole in a star. That matches up with her other feats that she has of being star level and stuff like that. And even in her feat run video I have on my channel. When it comes to speed, I do believe on his cosmic bike, I do believe he's ma he's massively faster than light. I think it really added more fuel to the fire when he was able to fight Captain America and Black Panther amped with cosmic or celestial energy. His only real weakness is being able to suffer from mental fatigue. He has to hold back to not destroy worlds, which is pretty accurate to like other Ghost Riders and stuff on their power level. He fought and killed most of the army made up of 166 alternate reality heroes, defeated and killed an alternate version of Thanos. I showed this earlier with him fighting Doctor Strange, Cable, and a whole bunch of heroes it's in the reality so the writers can do what they want with that but you know still impressive better it bill hulk was in the group stuff like that right but what do you guys think but i hope you guys enjoyed this feed run how do you guys like cosmic ghost rider do you plan on reading the entire run of cosmic ghost rider did you know he was this strong which is your favorite feed i want to hear all your feedback and comments below on what is your favorite feed did you learn anything new about him did you know he was this strong and if you haven't please check out my johnny blaze video and i want to see you guys more on the channel or i will look for you let me stop i'll see you guys later guys hope you guys enjoy it.